As per the release of Kingdom of Alliance trailer, we got the site out. And with that, we have a few new towers. Every single one of them which are going to be added into this game and all of the heroes. So in this video, we're going to discuss about that and what could they be. There is no gameplay for the notice for now. But stay tuned for that too. When it comes out, I'll let you know about it. But for now, let's just take a look at all of these towers as they look so great the art style looks so good and so on because there will be familiar and unfamiliar towers and heroes so let's take a look at it we can see that there will be 27 upgradable characters with 15 towers with special skills and we can create wide range of stat strategies with that and there are many other towers and there are 12 epic heroes and you can play with two heroes in each state which seems pretty great i mean that's that's exactly what i needed and a face action based across three exotic landscapes so there will be three different places we're going to be actually going through as per the breakdown i made when the trailer came out i said that that there will be three different places where we will be going there 16 campaign stages with different terrains and challenges and that's gonna be it just like 16 levels are gonna be in the game as per they have told us and let's just say that just like every single kingdom game in future we might even get few of the free levels if that makes any sense because every single kingdom game has gotten that has put some off lower things so in future we might get it i'm not confirming it but we might get it in future so let's just stay tuned for that but still it's worth it for 16 stages there will be three different game modes so game modes suggest to the three difficulty the casual normal and the veteran maybe and after that we might get impossible or something that's something i i i cannot figure it out but if it's like the challenges mode like the light wave six light waves anything like so that's what they were talking about i really do not know but let me know in the comments down below there will be 50 achievements so yes of course that's gonna be great and there will be 32 different enemies and three enemy races three epic boss fights and yeah that what else do we need and easter eggs like come on like we of course need that my favorite one in the kingdom of vengeance is the captain america one it's, it's such a great one you can just check out this website it will be linked in the description or you can find it on google over here we have a few level sneak peek or footage right there we cannot like just dump it but there are a few things which i have in my mind as how the tower might work so let's just discuss about that starting with the towers you can check out this entire thing and you can even get your hands on the pool register on the platform you are playing for starting off with the paladins now everyone knows how this tower works it's gonna be a lot more similar to what we see in vengeance and the first game i guess that's gonna be the kind of tower we're gonna get to see over here as per i think then we have the royal archers now archers are just archers they might have few unique abilities than before and these are not the normal archers these are the royal archers so that's gonna be a little bit more different than before here we have the arcane mage which we have seen in the legends of kingdom Rush, how they actually work etc so these shouldn't be a big of a thing i think the features would be a lot more like the infernal mage like the teleportation as that was the common thing in vengeance when we faced them too right so yeah the tri cannon in every single kingdom rush game we have seen one bomber tower one mage tower one melee and one ranged arrow kind of tower so this is going to be the kind of the same thing if we are going to take a look at the same sequel we have been getting through all of the games Arborean Emissary. This tower looks very interesting how it actually is so shown in the entire trailer. I have no idea to be honest how it's gonna be actually working so it's kind of really interesting to take a look at that one. In my speculation video I talked about this and it's exactly how it is. It's the Goonies moreover the demon pit as the tower name. This is gonna be one of the towers which I will think it would be great as a 
crowd control as they just get out and like it is more like the zombie tower from Kingdom of Vengeance. That's just a theory though. Ballista Outpost. Now this looks a very unique tower as it's a big crossbow and it looks like a long range but high damage dealing tower so yeah Darwin flame spirit uh this looks like the flamethrower we saw it in the actual trailer you can take a look at it later on so if you just take a look at that it's just a high damage dealing flamethrower i guess that that's what i'm gonna think then rocket gunners now trust me about this one i predicted this one too these are gonna be like the witches from kingdom of vengeance i think that's how they're gonna work out and they'll be dealing uh, slow speed but high damage, I think. Elven Stargazers. This tower kind of gives me vibes of uh, Blazing Gem, but it's kind. It, it can be different. But although I think that's the actual theme which is going on over this picture entire, I would say. And then my favorite one, Necromancer. We all know what it does, and this is gonna be the favorite tower of mine in this entire game i'm just saying it this already because this was my favorite tower in frontiers and now design is even more cool and what else did we need it battle brew master this tower looks actually very unique that looks like barbarians or dwarves i hope it kind of feels like a melee and non-melee tower i don't know i have no idea Dune Sanatals, which is basically Goblin Rings 2.0 we see in Kingdom of Vengeance, and here they are. They're basically the same thing, I'm gonna hope. Grim Wraiths, which is kind of the one of the biggest and the coolest tower I have seen out of all of these. This is gonna be something I'm gonna have my eyes on. You can check out the trailer later, but at a point, there is a part where the Grim Wraiths tower completely gets destroyed on one side, and they just teleport to another side that looks very interesting if you're gonna ask me eldritch channelier which has a really cool design and i'm gonna be honest these few last towers seems to be paid just like in kingdom of shrenjans i hope not but that is something which might happen eventually so yeah that that's gonna be if you buy it on steam it's, it's absolutely worth it and now let's take a look at all of the heroes First of all, Westpool. Now, I'm gonna be honest, he looks way cooler than what we saw in the Lure Bomb. And he's gonna be the first hero which we are gonna be given access to. Waylon, which seems to be a Dark Knight, but without a Dark Knight helmet, I guess. Very cool design. That might be one of my favorites, I'm gonna be honest. Envrew, which is like a cute little shaman, which we see in the game. It kind of hunts the Grosh, the ancient one, kind of super as we see in the trailer. That's just assumption though. Grimson, this is giving me vibes from Ragnarsson and one of the heroes from Kingdom of Origins. Both of them just mixed up and Grimson got blown up. Okay, that's that's what I think. It's the mashup of between those two characters, or he might be related to that. Taurus, which looks like a very big guy i would say he's huge as we see him in the trailer so yeah he's gonna be the tank with the damage deal anya being the daughter of dante as people say it and she's like the popular hero in entire community being talked out and that makes me have big expectations on the hero how she will perform i guess Therion, if I pronounce it correct, uh, this character looks very interesting. It looks like the Elite Harrisu race, but it's a kind of witch or mage kind of thing. It's very interesting, no news about it. Warhead, now I am talking about this thing. This looks a tanky damage dealing boy right there. It's so tank, it looks so good. How actual the entire art style is done for every single hero is just makes it 10 times more better. Onarko. Now, this character or the hero looks very interesting. It's gonna be a long range to damage dealing sharpshooter kind of thing. Not sharpshooter, I would say, but it's like more of the every single game has one kind of the tower which is based on machinery which is controlled by someone. So, this, this is gonna be the one. Broden. Now, this character just gives me the complete flashbacks of one level we see in Kingdom of Origins where you have to click the eagles or whatever 
whatever you call this creature it just goes up and starts firing down a big rain of bullets i guess if that makes any sense and this is completely matching to it so i have kind of cracked a hero i guess so comment and subscribe for that i guess luminaire this dragon is not ever seen in kingdomish era i guess so this is gonna be the new dragon i guess and it looks amazing and i like it based off on how we see it it looks very damage dealing as every single dragon is dragons are my favorite so i'm just i can just keep on talking about this the entire day so let's get to the next one Cosmire, and this looks amazing oh my god it can be literally predicted that this will be from Dark Army. And just look how great its red fire is. Red is my favorite color and it actually matches up every single thing I needed as a Dark Army fan. Oh my god, this is best. Before we wrap this video up, I did attend the Q&A and my few of the questions did got answered indirectly and directly right there. One of them was if the Kingdom Rush alliance will keep getting more campaign levels just like kingdom of vengeance and they said yes and for more info you can check out their entire q a live stream it's really great they really love the community and we love the game so that is gonna be it for this entire video and pre-register the game right now because we will get gifts and a lot of discount on the first week after the game has released it's gonna be really great and it helps them out a ton so let's just do something to support them make sure you pre-register on whatever mobile whatever platform you are gonna play the game on just do it click the links on there just check that out and I'm I am gonna meet you Bron, signing out of this one, subscribe, check out other videos, and see you in the next one.